Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. And I'm back to talk about my girl, Keisha Cole. You know, I did a prior video about her dating that ninja, Honcho. And, um, you know, Keisha gets all excited about her new relationships. And I think she thinks she's in love. And so she can't wait to tell the world about her new man and who she's with. But it hadn't bode well for her lately. You know, we, we talked about in the last video, some of her relationships that just didn't work out. I didn't go too deep. I just talked about the last one, really, that just really was not a good look for her. And I said in my last video that I didn't anticipate that this relationship being a good look for her either. And I think what disturbs me the most is that Keisha is over here on some Brandy Monica, the boy is mine type vibe right now. I mean, this is embarrassing at this point. And in <laughs> I, I can't even get my words together because I just was like, I'm just like, girl, what are we doing? What is this? This girl that you're fighting over Huncho with, Glossop, is that a name? Glossop, right? I had never actually heard of her until recently when all of this stuff starts spilling over to social media. And I'm like, let me look this up. This girl is what, 26 years old? You fighting over a boy that uh, with a girl who's 26 Keisha at 43. I think Keisha's got to be 42, 43 years old. And I think she thinks she won. If this was a versus battle, I think she thinks she won. I think she thinks because she's rocking his chain, she was out in Vegas with him, that she has won the fight. And so she is so happy. This is a temporary smile because we already know how this is going to end up. I hate it for her, but Keisha don't want our advice. Uh, you know, she, she wants to... Um, she wants people to leave her alone about her relationship. Um, and I think she, she, I, I think she has to know she's going to take a hit at some point on this one, but I think she wants to ride the wave as long as she can. But I think she thinks she has a one up because this ninja actually came out and posted a picture of her. I don't even know if it was on his, I think it's on his Instagram story. So I guess with that being said, she feels like that solidified the fact that no, I'm in position number one. But the fact is, Keisha, the fact that there was some other girl that was able to come out to say he led me on. He, I thought we were something different and um, he played both sides. And for you to feel like you won, well, at this age, you should know that this is not a, a win. Um, you may have won this round with her. Maybe she's, you know, saying, "I'm okay. I'm, a, I'm a throw in the towel. I'm gonna let you have them." Um, but trust me, there's more out there. There's another one that's not gonna give up that easily. So she may be sitting back in the cut right now, or she may be plotting. She may be saying, "Okay, I'm gonna act like I'm waving the right, the white flag, and I'm gonna let you have it." And then she could come back later, and um, next thing you know, she's you know doing whatever with him. And see, these type of girls gloss up. We know these type of girls. Us auntie know the nieces that act like this. These are the nieces that don't really care that you're in a relationship. She knew that he was messing with Keisha Cole, and I think she felt like she was there before Keisha. Therefore, she had the right to um, infiltrate into what they got going on. And then now you feel embarrassed. Gloss up feels embarrassed, I think, in my opinion. Everything in this video is just my opinion. None of it is facts. It's just me talking about what I feel, and everything is alleged. So let's get that out the way that I don't want nobody to think that I'm, you know, just all knowing all i'm just just saying this is my opinion about this but we I, I feel like we know girls like this who um just don't have a problem with stepping on any toes and there are others out there that are just like her i need keisha to get her a grown adult uh boyfriend significant other i need her to stop playing in the same type of pool you playing in these um uh, around the daycare and I hate to say that, but it's true. You know, we look at some of the guys that you're you're uh, in relationship with in the past, and these guys are too young. You should be at a at a level of maturity where you're not out here, want even attracted to a man um, like Huncho. What do you guys have in common? This man can he even form a complete sentence? Like actually, um, a sentence that starts with the capital um, letter um, that ends with the period? Because I don't think so. Why are you guys on a level where you could relate to him? Something to me is off about that. I feel like 
Keisha is maybe maturity wise maybe she's still stuck in her 20s she's still this new artist that's coming out trying to find her happily ever after i don't know maybe she still wants to feel young maybe she likes the vibe of how a young guy makes her feel but she still ends up in the same position in the end and so i really want her to choose from a different pool of men i need her to choose a guy that is actually um established in his career and maybe he's not in the music industry or maybe if he is he's behind the scenes but he's i need her to find a guy that's 40 and up if she wants longevity now if she just wants to be out here playing and getting played on by the guy and with 20 year old girls then fine stay where you're at do what you do um but if you continue to down this path it's going to end up in embarrassment every time because i promise you in a week or two from now there's going to be another one and it's going to be another one after that even if you win that one so because you rock in this chain does not mean you won and um i just i just don't like this for her it gets on my nerves actually all my other aunties out there you know keisha is our age and you know it's a shame we out here trying to give this girl advice and she don't want it she does not want it she wants to be the winner of this round she wants to say the boy is mine and um yeah it's just looking real foolish for her and you know here's the sad part about it the sad part about this is when you have when you look in the comments of uh different blogs that have posted about her being with Hancho and the whole situation with gloss up and all of that. You look at the comments and there's a lot of people that comment about how foolish this looks for her, that she's too old for this. You have a lot of people that are like, girl, and they're not saying it to be mean. They're saying it because it's just tomfoolery. You are too old for this. A lot of people are calling her, um, you know, grandma and senior citizen and all of this you know and 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 yeah maybe some of it is cruel but all of it is to really just to let her know that at this age this is not the look for you and i'm just not understanding the moves that people like keisha is making right now the moves that drea is making right now you guys are of a certain age playing around in these baby pools i don't even understand that and i don't like it and it's pissing me off and i thought i'd come on here and talk about it you guys let me know what your thoughts are about it Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber. And I'll chat with you guys on the next video.